This is by far the best strategy I've seen to take down the spider at the end of the off the path content within the new Forbidden Forest. I'm going to show you my deck, how to strategize with your teammates and exactly what the piece of the puzzle is that you're going to need to know to take down that spider. It might come just a little bit later, so you've got to stick around for that, but it is essential for you to take this and get those spiders to go against themselves. There's a little teaser for you if you haven't worked it out already, but go in there, use them against themselves and just really nuke that spider down. You'll just watch its health will literally deplete in the front of your eyes and you'll just be like whoa what happened so much faster than you can do any damage to the spider so let's get in and have a look at the deck i used so i went through with hermione i probably wouldn't go in there with many summons because this spider literally just nukes anything that gets in front of you even your companions once they get one hit they're just gone so i like to use spells as you can see here I've got my prior Encanto as always. We've got Niffles to just go over in the corner and just hopefully get you some MP. Got Crucio for the high damage. We've got the birds just to recycle to proc Hermione's skill. We've got the Atmospheric Charm, which it does essentially the same damage as the Thunder, except it costs two less MP. We've got Aguamento, which obviously is a bit, fair bit of damage. We've got the Nebulous to just hide you for a little bit, get you a little bit of extra health here and there. And last but not least, we have the Broomstick. This is in there because this is a really good way to get out of the spider's web if you get targeted. I'll show you exactly when you need to use this broomstick, so try and have this in your hand at all times. Okay, you need this in your hand. It only costs 2 MP, so you should be able to get it regen back quick enough to use it as it is needed. So, and then companions down the bottom, we just start with Lottie, so we just get the quick MP straight off the bat, and you put her right in a corner so she lasts as long as possible. We'll take Hermione in, so we get an extra bit of spike of damage, and then Ivy just to take out a side spider if you really need it down the track, but you shouldn't need it. So, I won't show the battles leading up to it. I don't think it's really that necessary to show you how to beat the stages before it. You can probably do that yourself it's just this last stage it can be really hard i'll show you which bonuses that i picked and why i picked them before we get into the battle so let's go look at those out of these three after playing through now i probably picked the quicker teammates revive because if they drop down you don't want to be wasting your time picking them up you want that to happen as fast as possible i picked power us for the extra attack because that's really what i need at the end to take down that spider i need more damage the next one i got was these three the way that i was playing and the way that you probably will restraint probably won't work because you're never going to have over 8 mp Mega Strike, you could probably do this if you want, but you're only going against one opponent anyway, and you shouldn't be that close that you're doing heaps of basic attack. Cursed Mark, though. Enemies who are hit by three times by wizard basic attacks will take an additional 25 damage for five seconds. This one, I reckon, is one of the best ones to pick. Get close enough. Like, you don't really want to be too close to the spider, but get around to the back of it, hit it with some basic attacks, and it'll be taking 25% extra damage for 5 seconds. This, I think, is a massive, massive one. If all of your team can get this, you're well on the way of defeating the spider anyway. And as you can see, up the top there, all three of us picked this, so this is the way to go. If we all did it at the same time, I don't know if it's stackable and that's a 75% increase in damage because that would be massive. Hopefully it is. Uh, if anyone knows, let me know down in the comments below and I'll pin that. And then the very last one is this one. Again, this one's up to you. Probably not the last one, the steadfast, because you don't want to be under 10% health. And every nine spell cards, if you were sitting there and counting them, it could be worth it because then you could Every ninth card you use as Crucio, but it's really hard to keep up with that. You're thinking about too many other things. So I just went with Critical, a 20% chance to deal double damage. I think that's more worth it anyway. So if you go 20%, that's 1 in 5. You get 200% damage, which is more than every 9 spell cards. You get 150. So I would go with Critical on this one. I know there's probably other some bonuses that you may be getting, but these are the ones that I've picked and the ones that I would choose going through. It seems like we all got the same ones. I did the hard battles on each one so i don't know if that changes i haven't done enough times to really look at it but this is the reasonings why i picked these ones up to you what you want to play with if there's any others that you really like let me know down down below as well because the more information i can get from you guys the more that i can give to everyone else i'm going to be over this side and a little bit smaller here but as you can see you get the two spider nests that spawn straight off the bat just literally take them down as quick as possible. Crucio, Aguamente, and drop your Lottie down behind you as far away as possible. Or you can walk to the other side of the map and drop Lottie. You just want Lottie away. As you can see, it didn't really work for me because the spider started attacking her anyway. Again, I'm not perfect at the game. I'm just trying to show you these strategies that you can use. Again, Whizbangs is an amazing spell to bring in here. I just liked Aguamente because it just costs a lot less MP compared to eight of the Whizbangs or seven. As you can see, we took down that spider as fast as possible. And now we have three minutes to take down this spider right now. 
So as you can see, my Hermione is nearly up and ready to drop down. We just all use Crucios, Whizbangs, Aguamentes, like really try and nuke this down as fast as possible. I drop my Niffles down, I try and get my health up as much as possible. Keep smashing out Crucios, and then this spider walking across right here, this big red one, this is what we are looking for. So once this spider gets over here into its spot, it may go to a different spot. I don't know how these spiders runs work, but get nice and close to it as, you, as I have right now. Once it gets to its spot, it will stop and a little timer will come up above, which I'll show in a second, but I'll show this over on the right hand side before we get to that. Look at the befuddlement potion that I have over there. I've got a video on this potion doing solo exploration 26, I believe it is, but it works here just as amazing. As soon as this spider gets to its spot and it stops and you see the timer come up, grab a befuddlement potion, bigger the better, draw, drag and drop as you watch me here, drag and drop it onto here and it will attack instantly. Watch the health up above. Watch the health of the spider. Goodbye health. Look at it. It absolutely destroys that spider. It just done 20,000 damage onto the main spider for nothing. Now you just need to kill this spider before it sets off its um, venom and hurts you. Obviously, Ivy can help right here if it's up, which it's not usually up. But that's what I wanted to show you. That befuddlement potion right there, that is 20,000 damage within a, like 10 seconds. The main thing that you'll find with this battle is that you won't have enough time to do the damage on the spider. And that's that damage right there, super easy. It takes one potion and takes about 10 seconds. Now we come to the second part of the strategy. Well, it might not be a part of the strategy as such. It's just something to look out for and how to avoid getting cocooned up in its web. So let's watch this. Look, it's spitting its web out of its mouth right now and it will hit me, bang, and I have that X above my head. That X right there means that it's gonna grab me and pull me in and start to cocoon me. But I had my trusty broomstick down here, down below in my hand. As you can see, it's disappeared right now. But it has grabbed me, I've broomsticked around and I don't get sucked in anymore. This is absolutely paramount. And now we have another spider walking in I'm on cooldown for my befuddlement potion. You need to wait another three minutes, I think it is, before you can do it again, which sucks, really sucks, but I understand why they do it. But this is why you need to talk to your team before you start doing it. Someone else on your team should walk over and befuddlement this spider, and we'd pretty much win the match straight away. No one else wanted to do this strategy with me, um, which sucked, so I pretty much just killed it with a Crucio. But again, you can Ivy these ones. Crucio, Aguamante pretty much kills it straight off the bat. Do not let it steward attack because you will die. So as you can see, we just keep taking down the spider. And because we've done that one befuddlement, we are so far ahead and able to do the damage as quick as possible and get there. So that's pretty much it for the strategy. You don't have to do the befuddlement potion. I just found that it is an easier way to do it. This is off the path five. And we are all around about 60 spellbook level. Obviously, if you're higher, this will be easier. Or if you want to go against... Before you get into this battle, you need to tell your team that you're going to befuddle the first spider and do not attack it until I start attacking it or it's done its attack. Because otherwise, you will not get the damage off. This happened one time. I went to befuddle it and they killed it straight away. So it was just a waste. Make sure you tell your team what strategy you're doing. Allocate one person to do the first spider, someone to do the second spider. And if you really need it, which you shouldn't, someone to do the third spider. But that should really get you past this level. If you work as a team, you can beat it even with lower spellbook levels than me. You just want to try and avoid the spider as much as possible so you last longer so that other spiders can defeat the spider for you. There's a lot of spiders in that. But that's about it for this strategy. If you find a better one or something else that you can add on to this, let me know in the comments and I will do a follow-up video to this to really show you how to beat this even faster. So that's it, guys, and I'll talk to you later.